This is Think Outside, which is a puzzle box I made that uses a very strange way of actually being able to uh, let you complete the map. I'm going to show you how to beat this. So off the bat, we only have a wooden pickaxe to our name. There's two logs in that room, but we can't reach them. And there's a command block with a sign that's just telling us we can't take items past Y200. Our only option here is to mine through this uh, iron ore. Now, obviously, we can't pick it up because we're using a wooden pickaxe. But we can still mine through it nonetheless. And it has efficiency 5 just to kind of speed up the process a little bit. But we can mine through this whole path here. Almost there. And once we get through, we're brought into another large bedrock room. In here, there's a couple things. There is a boat way up high. Again, way too far out of reach for us to get. And there's also some string dotted around the perimeter. There is exactly six pieces of string in the entire uh, room. Now, you might be able to get an idea as to how we're going to end up escaping this room. We need to somehow get back into that room and then do the squilly glitch to get up to the roof. That being said, how do we get back? We have a pickaxe here, which is labeled Think Outside the Game. And outside of that, we can only make one block, really. We can't even get to that boat. So what do we do? Well, what we're going to do is we're actually going to tab out of the game. And I'm going to paste the map into my worlds filter again. Now, it's going to give me this for now, which is fine. And we're going to go back into the game. Save and quit, tab out, and hit try again. And then tab back into the game, and load the map again. And what we should have is that while our inventory and location stayed the same, the map actually got reset. Which means we can do a couple of things. First of all, we can pick up that six string again. Which means we now have enough string to make three wool for a bed. Oops. But more importantly, we can now pick up these iron ore blocks. So let's go ahead and use these to actually grab the boat here. There we go. I want to keep these. I don't need all of them, but they're nice to have. Now we're just going to uh, mine our way back up into the previous room. And now that we're here, we're going to use the blocks to actually reach the uh, logs. The one in this corner. And of course, the one in this corner. And at this point, it should be pretty straightforward. Whoops. Grab that. And now we're going to make a crafting table. Make ourselves a bed. And we're going to come over here and use this corner to set up the squilly glitch. And that should be good. Now, I'm going to just grab all of these blocks so that I can make a giant staircase. Because now I just pretty much need to die. <laughs> and once we finally do that, that should be good enough, we should respawn all the way at the top of the prison. And now we have a sign here that says jump to freedom, but don't die. Remember, we have to survive on the grass down there in order for this to count as a valid ex escape. So we're just gonna do something pretty obvious. 
We're gonna save and quit right before we hit the ground. Reload the map. And... Land safely on the ground. And that is how you escape my bedrock puzzle map.